All right, so startling uh, new claims uh, by former passenger rail agency of South Africa boss Lucky Montana uh, could place Zuelim Kizer, the ANC's former Treasurer General and the country's health minister, at the centre of one of South Africa's biggest uh, corruption scandals. That's according to the Daily Maverick. It's reported uh, that a beneficiary of the infamous 3.5 billion rand toll trains contract allegedly transferred money for the ANC's benefit to bank accounts nominated by Nkiza. It's also reported that Montana made those startling and detailed claims about alleged financial dealings involving the ANC as former Treasurer General Mkhize and Maria Gomez, an Angolan businesswoman who in 2013 and 2014 secured a 40 million rand, a slice of Prasa's infamous 3.5 billion rand toll trains contract. So the author of that story is Peter Louis Myberg, an investigative journalist who joins me now. Peter, a very good evening to you. Thanks indeed for your time. So talk us through the link between the former ANC Treasurer General, uh, uh, Dr. Zuelim Kize, and the so-called toll trains uh, process, uh, project. Good evening, Griselda. Yes, yeah, so we've known about Maria Gomez since around 2016. That was when, you know, at Report newspaper, I broke the story about this 40 million rand that had been kind of essentially siphoned off the contract. It was funneled through the accounts of Sofima Rail leasing the main contract and then paid on to Similex, Maria Gomez's company. So we had always known, or for quite a while, had known that the 40 million rand had been paid to the account. But now there's kind of like really, you know, compelling allegations by... Mr. Lucky Montana places William Keys kind of at the center of the operation, the money operations involving Maria Gomez. He's now alleging that, you know, once that money had been transferred to this company, Similex, Keys kind of regularly met with the Gomez in the presence of Lucky Montana too at, at her house in Santon. And that during these meetings, there were these suggestions or uh, orders mm. or requests the money gets forwarded on to the governing party, which of, of course would be very problematic because that is essentially would mean that, you know, the, the ANC is benefiting from possibly corrupt government contracts by these kind of donations. All right. Peter, Peter, just help me out here. I know Montana had granted you this exclusive interview in which he seems to implicate himself together with Dr. Zuelim Kize because he says together with Zuelim Kize, they had met regularly at the Gomez's house um, in that period that Prasa had awarded the contract to Swifambo. Why would he do that, implicate himself? Yeah. Look, so I think it, it's quite interesting to note that Montana... Although he volunteers this information and essentially places himself alongside Nkize in these dealings with Gomez, he seems to still fundamentally believe that it was not corrupt. So, you know, on the one hand, the money, you know, it's, it's been proven that it flows from Sufambo to Gomez, but Montana still maintains, or, you know, yeah, still maintains that there was no corruption because. It was a arm's length donation to the governing party, um, you know, which which does a bit uh, become a little bit um, difficult to believe if you consider that the the money is flowing from Sufama's coffers to Gomez. Yeah. So on the one hand, it's it's a bit of a strange admission, you know. He does indicate or admit that he was at those meetings alongside Mkize, but in the same breath, he kind of maintains that there was no corruption because. Essentially, the payment can't be linked to the Prasa contract, which is a bit of a strange, uh, perplexing um, allegation, I, I think. Yeah. Uh, also reading that article, you know, Montana uh, saying that he will place this before the State Capture Commission. Uh, this certainly opens up a bigger can of, uh, a bigger, a bigger can of worms, doesn't it? it? It certainly does. You know, Griselda, I think uh, what, what's really important and what is really helpful for the, the Zonda Commission process or for the country as a whole to, to further understand what had transpired around that con uh, contract. The Zonda Commission is a fantastic platform to place somebody like Montano, who has now volunteered information, because, you know, a, a witness statement or one of his earlier submissions in writing is one thing, but once you go and sit there in front of Judge Zondu and you are also cross-examined, you know, by the Zonda Commission team, you know, their, their legal team, it, it really becomes a very helpful platform to extract further details 
in regard to what could have transpired uh, in all those dealings involving Gomez and then allegedly Zulim Kize and the governing party too. How would all of this, uh, Peter, we know that, uh, you know, Prasa has been in shambles uh, for quite some time. How does this speak to the greater problem uh, that I guess uh, uh, probably government is trying to clean up now when we look at the state of Prasa and uh, the shambles that it finds itself in? Yeah, look, so, so if, if it can be proven, and I believe, believe really, I do believe eventually it will be that the ANC actively, through its then Treasurer General, had extracted, you know, a substantial portion of a train contract for its own and the party's benefit, it, it really becomes doubly troubling to consider the state of rail affairs. So this particular contract, this reform contract in 2012, it was awarded with the very idea of improving the rail service to place 70 additional new locomotives on our tracks to ensure that there's a streamlining of what at that point already was a constrained rail system. So if it now emerges that, you know, the governing party had been party to extracting money from that contract, you know, a contract that ultimately collapsed, A, not only because the trains were unsuitable, but B, because there was large-scale money laundering and, and, and filtering away of the funds, yeah. and the, the train deal financially collapsed, then really it becomes a massive blight on the party's record, which has committed to, you know, on the surface, to improving rail commuter services for the benefit of mm. ordinary South Africans, but in the background, they're essentially diverting these funds to their own pockets. Mm. Peter, thank you very much indeed for your time this evening. Peter Louis Myberg, uh, author and investigative journalist. Uh, the SABC also reached out uh, to both of the ANC and Mkize for comment. The ANC saying possibly it will respond tomorrow and at the time of going to broadcast, uh, the team for Dr. Zuelim Mkize had not yet responded by the time of us going uh, to air.